Welcome to the first Tempo Storm deck introduction series of Rastakhan's Rumble. Today we're covering an older archetype that is currently making a comeback, OTK Paladin. Many players were discussing ways to make a powerful Paladin list that could result in killing their opponent in one turn with the use of Shirvala the Tiger in Holy Wrath. But after testing, it seems that a list relying on Uther the Ebonblade's hero power is more consistent. Typically, these lists also run Shirvala as a form of stall and healing, but don't rely on it for the combo. OTK Paladin has seen a lot of play with the start of the expansion, and is likely to continue seeing play, especially after placing in Tier 2 of our most recent meta snapshot. Will the deck turn out to be more than a niche fun thing to play? It's hard to be certain, but without further ado, let's jump in to the breakdown of the deck. The general game plan for this deck is in its name, OTKing your opponent. In order to pull off the combo, we need to generate all four horsemen from the Death Knight's hero power. Once you've assembled all the horsemen, your opponent instantly loses the game. The issue with this combo is that the horsemen spawn in random order, though there's an element of chance to pulling off the combo successfully. If you have a horseman on board, your hero power won't spawn an additional copy of it though. This means that if you have three unique horsemen on the board, your hero power will always end the game. In order to pull off the combo, we need to assemble all the pieces of the puzzle. By using our cards such as Zola the Gorgon and Ancient Brewmasters, we can return the horsemen to our hand. When doing so, make sure that you don't add duplicate copies of the horsemen to your hand, as this will prevent the combo from working. Make sure that each one is unique. When taking your turns, make sure to account for the fact that sometimes your hero power will miss. If you go all in on high rolling the hero power, you give yourself a chance to lose the game on a coin flip, so be sure to have a backup plan. Due to the nature of Paladin, getting to the later turns in the game is much easier than with a lot of classes, aside from Druid. Paladin has access to a lot of the best removal and stalling tools in the game. Cards such as Equality, Consecration, Wild Pyromancer ensure that we can clear large boards until we get to the later turns of the game. Against some aggro decks, instead of trying to combo our opponent, we should focus on surviving against their pressure, as they have a finite amount of resources to win the game. Once you get through their initial threats, you can often stabilize with the Death Knight Uther and his Grave Vengeance weapon. Don't be afraid to use your minions more defensively in aggro matchups as the combo isn't your game plan. Against other combo-based decks, both players are racing to assemble their combo pieces. In order to maximize the chances that you can finish yours first, you want to focus on mulliganing for cycle-based cards such as Call to Arms. Once you acquire your combo, just focus on staying alive, playing a more exciting version of Solitaire. One new addition that Paladin has received which has significantly helped the archetype is Time Out. By having the ability to entirely deny your opponent from hurting you, gain a large amount of time to play your own game. Thanks to how new this deck is, a lot of players are trying many different cards to see which ones fit the general game plan best. The two cards that are being experimented with most currently are Zilliax and a new challenger. Zilliax is a card that has seen play in almost any slower deck since the Boomsday meta settled, so it makes sense to see Zilliax in our OTK Death Knight Paladin as well. The card offers removal and healing in the same package, making it a very reasonable inclusion. A new challenger is a new card that's hard to rate, but it will likely fizzle out of the meta due to how inconsistent it is. The card can definitely be helpful in a lot of situations, and is more proactive than most of the Paladin's reactive kit, but if you miss getting any good cards, you're essentially wasting a whole turn. One option that players aren't really experimenting with right now is weapon removal. Due to how diverse the meta is with all the new decks, it's hard to assess how needed weapon removal is, but if Druid remains popular, it's surely to be included. Make sure to play either Gluttonous Ooze or Harrison Jones, as we don't want our Call to Arms to pull Acidic Swamp Ooze. If you're including the weapon removal solely for Druid, Harrison might be the better choice due to the card draw component of his battle cry, and if you're seeing a lot of aggressive decks, consider running an Ooze instead. One of the best parts of new expansions is trying to find the decks that will dominate the meta, while still experimenting and having fun. OTK Death Knight Paladin is a deck that is not only very strong, but also has a unique and interesting playstyle. It's hard to know for sure if this deck will be at the top of the tier lists anytime soon, but for now it seems to be one of the more dominant decks in the meta. This wraps up our first deck introduction for the new expansion. Make sure to subscribe to stay up to date with the rest of our Tempo Storm Hearthstone content. Have a wonderful week. See you next time.